Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular 9 full tutorial series. Today we are going to cover about ng4. Just like any other for loop in any programming language you have used, ng4 is used to loop through an object array and print and process the element that is derived out of it. We'll learn all about it. We'll learn about the syntax. We'll learn about how to use it, how to write it. My name is Sridhar. I have over 10 years of experience as a full stack developer. I'm here to share my knowledge on front end technologies as well as back end technologies. I'm here to share my knowledge and also to learn from you all. During the course of this tutorial series, if you have any doubts, any queries, please feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I will be happy to help you and answer your queries. Also, I am putting in a lot of effort in compiling these tutorials. So please support me by liking the video and subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much in advance. Let's get started. During so far, we have covered Angular 9 full tutorial series. We have covered around 13, 12 uh, tutorials right from the beginners, which is Angular introduction basics to advanced things like modules, components, decorators, and also directives. In the last episode, we learned about ng switch. Today, we are going to learn about ng4. So ng4 is similar to for statements that you have written in any other programming languages. ng4 is a built-in structural directive, which means it can alter the DOM structure. It's, it will start with asterisk symbol since it's a built-in structural directive. ng4 is used for looping the elements to display the array data in the template or the view. The syntax for writing is, you can write it with div, you can write it with ulli, you can write it with table tr. That's totally fine. You can use it with any element. We will write asterisk ng4 equal to let element of collection. That's how we write the syntax. So let's do some practicals and we will learn about it. Again, during the course of this examples, if you have any doubts, drop in the comments. If you're liking the video tutorial, please give a thumbs up to this video. Let's get started with practical. So I have my component HTML. Let's give ng4 example h4. And this is where we'll implement our h4. I will go to app component.ts. And this is where we are making some notes for ng4. Uh, we'll do some examples here. All right. So the first thing we'll do is let's create an object, right? Um, array of object basically json array let's call it users equal to and here i'm going to write some uh, simple uh, declaring some uh, key value pair basically so let's just copy it all right so let's print some values here uh, johnson robin Let's, and then let's add some more. And let's add Katie. All right. So we have gotten a uh, array of objects. Let's change these values. And we, this can be any value you want. So don't go by sequential um, that we will learn when we do index. All right, so I have a simple array of ob JSON object, which is users. Now let's take this value and go to our app component. And I will write a table for this. It's a simple one. Um, and where we will say we need to display all these values. Uh, all right, so this is the empty shell container. Now uh, we'll also give a bootstrap class. We'll call it bootstrap table. All right. Uh, now let's write the ng4 so asterisk followed by ng followed by for make sure this is capital f you don't want to give it small caps now we'll write element of users right so this is the same name that we have used in our app component right of users and this you can call it anything you want user of users whatever you want to call it now we will use double curly brace. This is called data binding, which we are going to cover it in the next tutorial. 
uh, don't worry about the double curly braces this is part of data binding or interpolation we will learn that in the next tutorial that is tutorial number 14 okay now uh, let's print this value so first let's print user id and then copy this and we will have user name and the same like first name right and so so this is how we will print the table now let's see the output so we see the table that's coming up which is 10 20 30 56 75 this is the table detail we can jazz it up a little bit i'm going to put a simple th and then uh, let's put user id and then another th let's put username or first name all right so we got the user id and first name this is the table responsive so we see that it's simple to just get the object array object and loop it using for loop for displaying the data right now let's say we will now learn about the next element which is for loop has multiple options to it local variables like index first name last name even odd so how do we use them so index is used to get the current index of the current element first will give you the first element whether it is first or not this will return you true or false last will again give you true or false whether it is the last element even odd similarly they will give you whether they are odd or even or not so let's see that in action all right so here i'm going to now say index as i right and i'm going to use it here let me add some headings first for you and to save some space i'm going to use right here uh, it's much easy to read it that way okay and let's do it here let's take it here now here i'm going to call it index right the next we will also use first last first last and uh, we'll also learn about even and odd so even this is odd right so now let's copy this three four we need we need four yes so now we have called that index as i so put it i here right you will see the index showing up index is 0 1 2 3 for now i'm going to make it blank so it's easy for you to read and understand all right sprite so let's see it now so index you see the array index starts with 0 1 2 3 4 5 this is important index is important when you do dom manipulation right so whenever you use index it's very important uh, whenever we are doing dom manipulation like adding or removing elements uh, very important very important uh, with respect to manipulations now similarly we can also write and check whether it is first or not so for that i can just say f here because that's the variable i've used so now it will tell you whether this is first or not if you see here for this record it says true because this is the first row but for everything else it is false because this is the first one similarly you can also write last as l and write l here now you would see all these would be false except the last one because this is the last one right now no guesses you got it right that for even we'll write e for odd we will write o so see how simple it is to get the data and print it and get the data manipulated so we will check even we'll check odd so now you see this is even this is even this is even this is odd this is odd this is odd right so this is how we can use ng4 for manipulating data as well as for 
learning and looping the data and printing based on how we want it. We can get the index, we can get it as first or whether it is last, we can write even or odd. We will use this example. So we have used first, we have used last, we have used odd, we have used even, we have used odd. Now, this was about using for ng4 with looping data and printing using different local variables, right? In the next tutorial, we are going to add a functionality to it. So when we learn about ng style, ng classes, uh, not sorry, this will not be 14, this will be 16. In the next, I'm going to teach you about ng style and tutorial 15 will be about ng class. So we will use and style these based on this indexes or first or last. So that's for the next episode where we learn ng style and then after that we'll do ng class. Then we will get into advanced concepts of data binding router. I hope you like this video. If you do, please give a thumbs up to the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. Thank you so much. See you in the next episode. Till then, take care.